Welcome to another instalment of the 3D series. We've had to rope the bones in. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Yourself? Yeah, yeah not bad, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this. We've gone from absolutely freezing temperatures last <laughs> time I saw you to boiling hot temperatures. I think normally you only get me involved in the winter when it's really hard. And, or when you know, Bart that. isn't available, obviously. When Bart isn't available. Yeah, so we've um, been sent a video from the Bart man, and these are the reasons why he can't make it. All right, mind. I'm real sorry, Mars, but I'm not going to be able to make the next 3D series. Have you seen what the weather's doing? Oh, it's going to be 40 degrees, mind. 40 degrees for me. Within about three seconds, even with factor 5,000, I'll look like a pink peril. And you know, I only use PBs, because you know you want to, what you want to do, right? You want to use PB, because I like PBs. So anyway, what I'm going to have to do is get call in a ringer. I, I was getting a bit bored of being dusted up by you, Mars. So I've had to bring in Bonesy. Bones he'll dust you, and I bet he dusts you by just a couple of ounces. He's a bit of a legend, loves a ghosty, loves a tench. I'm sure he'll smash you up. Anyway, thanks, mind, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to have to go and hide for a few days in a fridge with no light, because I can't have rays like that on me. Oh, no. I'll be pink. All right, see you soon. Bye. So we've had to rope in someone that's not quite as ginger <laughs> as the other ginger. I'm only part ginger. I can cope with that sunshine and 40 degrees miles. I mean, it's about half 10 in the morning, look at it, it's ridiculous. I know, it's crazy. So yeah. the concept behind the 3D series is you guys get to choose three products that we have to use and we haven't got a clue what's in these boxes. You don't know what's in there, do you? He's praying that there's floaters in here. So the winner is Charlie Padfield. Well done, mate. Whatever you chose is obviously sat in these boxes here and we'll send these out to your house. If you want to decide on the next series what you want us to use, check the description. It will take you to the DNA website. Pick three products, put them in the comments below and then we will choose, or someone will choose, whoever that winner is in the office. Anyway, right, let's get to it. Let's, let's open, open these boxes. I've got something. Let's have here. a look. Come on let's then, come on then. So, what have we got, Charlie? Please, please, we're either please. going to be friends, Charlie, or we're not. <laughs> so, <laughs> open it up. Ooh, what have we got? Oh, I see some boilers. Oh, <laughs> some big boilers. There's some big boilers there. Right. Okay. Right then, Charlie. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got 22 mil <laughs> switch. Right, 22 mil switch. Do a lot with it. We can do a lot with that. Yeah, yeah. Do I suppose you can. You can. Um, you can obviously trim them, half them, crumb them, chop them up, do yeah, all the jazz with them. That. What else yeah. have we got? We have got some liquid. So that is some of the switch liquid, which I believe is the liquid food. food. Liquid food. Yeah. So that's really good as well. That's going to do well in the water. And then we've got some Put half tones. Right. Small dumbbell half tones. Right, so, so, so we got the smallest hook <laughs> bait with the largest baits that we don't want. Not the garlic. largest baits, but one of the we can, largest we can work, baits. We can work on that. I think we can definitely work on that. Definitely. They're wafters, aren't they? They are wafters, yeah. Can't even yeah, use them on the surface. Wafters. I know, yeah, that's what I'm, I, I ah. might get. Oh, my oh, size 10, maybe. <laughs> Bit of cork. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not that's not bait but right. yeah we can work with that we okay with that. so yes well done charlie that gets sent out to your house mm. and now we got to get our thinking caps on mm. right yeah. let's go and have a look at the venue the venue's behind us i've never fished here before but i believe you have spent a bit of time here over the last probably 15 years I haven't been for probably four or five years right know the lake quite well it's got loads of varying depths right down to 40 feet but there is some nice shallow areas cool. nice the lake's empty Okay. To ourselves, nice Wicked. Kind of right, we'll talk about the lake more as we walk around it. So mm. now we know what bait we're going to be using. Now we have to hatch a plan. I'm going to have a think while I'm so walking let's around. Let's go. Yeah, right, sweet. Off we go. Let's go. Come on. You can hear me in your ears, can't you? Sleep with your eyes closed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Well, we've had a bit of a walk round. Yep. In the heat. 
Yeah, it's been warm, Moz. It has been warm. It's been warm. <laughs> you in your black hat and your black know, t shirt. Yeah. It was such a bad move, such a schoolboy <laughs> error. I thought cotton, that's what we need, that'll yeah. be all right. Yeah. I mean, it's a good job you didn't bring Bartby, to be honest with you, because he'd look like a. Well, he'd be melted, he'd by He'd be now. like a prawn by be, now, yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah, you're picking yeah. him off, off the yeah, path. Yeah. He would be all curled up on the floor. That anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. we're not going to moan too much about it. No, we're not going to We always moan about the weather, whether it's a winter series or the summer series. Yeah. So we're English, that's our job. Yeah, so we are basically the lake that we're fishing mm -hmm. is Bishop's Bowl. We're on Green Hills, aren't we? We're on Green Hills, yeah. So yep. it's round about sort of seven acres in size. Yeah, I'd say it's seven, shaped. seven, eight acres, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a venue I've only been to once. I've yeah. filmed someone else here, but you've been here. I've been a coming of for times. a few years. I haven't fished it a huge amount, probably two or three times, but Sean, the owner, I know quite well now. I've been coming up. He's been changing loads of things up here. This used to be a jet ski lake years ago. Mm. And it was much bigger and it's actually been made much smaller and it started to do a few more fish now. And yeah. I mean, we've seen some fish, haven't we? Yeah, we've seen we fish have, everywhere. Yeah. It's a very cool looking lake. So you've obviously yeah. got like that cliff face on the opposite side there, mm. which I imagine just carries on dropping in the water to around about 30 foot. So. What I remember from over that other side is where we're we are at the minute, I think this is peg nine, mm. going long, it just drops 35, 40 foot. Wow. But you can see in the water that there's a plateau out there's there. There's a plateau so. just out in front of this swim, so hence why we've decided to sort of come in this swim. Yeah, we're going to double up, aren't we? I think it yeah. keeps it nice and social for us. You yeah, know, it's, yeah. It's nice to spend a couple of days. I, I think we've got a good chance of carp. It won't be easy with what bait no. we've got. <laughs> you know, it, for me, it's the lack of pop-ups, because looking in the edge, there's a little bit of weed about, quite a lot yeah. of silkweed. So the lack of having a pop-up is going to be interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be all right. But as you remember on the last winter series, I chose the peg first after you stitched me up. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so I'm going to let you pick which side you want right. to go. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go on the left. Oh, shock. Because right. I've got more of the flat. Well, you went on the left We've on the winter series. We've seen more fish down there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, left yeah. hand side for me. The plat, we both get a bit we of get, We both though, get, there's so. plenty of water to go at, that's for sure. And yeah. I, th I think we'll be all right. The fit, what we've noticed, we've seen that skull, um, shoal of fish down the other end. Mm. And they moved, and they moved almost right the way around the lake. Yeah, yeah. It's like, wow, they, yeah, they really are moving around. So I think once we find our areas and get some bait out, I think yeah. we might be in for a couple of fish tonight. Yeah, so I think the plan probably will be get a bit of bait out. Mm. Well, find an area first. Yeah. Get a bit of bait out. Maybe go and bait some edge edges. Yeah, I think some stalking might be quite yeah, quite good because they are in the margins, stalking, aren't they? So. But anyway, we'll talk mm. about that as it goes on. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to get the bivvy up, get some shade yeah. and drink some more water. Definitely need some shade. <laughs> Water, it's called. Water. Water, not water. Right, well, whilst Bones is getting set up in the swim, I've only got as far as putting me bivvy up and I've had enough as it is already. This heat is savage. So there's loads of fish swimming about the place at the minute in front of this swim, down in the corner. So I think I'm going to go on a little bit of a stalking mission. Now, all I've done is I've scored out the back of one of our wafters or one of the wafters that was in the kit and basically super glued the hook to the back of that groove so basically you're left with that wafter on the back of a size seven and all i'm going to do is walk around try and find a group of fish and cast that in front of them it's something that's worked for me just lately and something i don't do enough of so i'm going to hope that it works this time around in this heat at the minute the last thing i want to be doing is finding a spot wrapping up sorting things out i think if i can go and get myself a quick bite now then that will be the most beneficial for my time at the minute so that's the case that's ready to rock and roll I'm just going to grab a net grab this rod walk around try and find some fish to chuck that in front of there's one that's a good one as well it's a good carp man
seeing proper inhaling and everything. Well, the day slowly dwindled away from us and unfortunately this hasn't worked although they've definitely had a go at it a couple of times very first cast i was a little too hesitant on the strike and unfortunately pulled out of one and then i had another opportunity after that but it just seems like the more the day's going on now the more they're dropping in the water so i think it's probably time to just hang this rod up for today but i definitely feel like there's a bite or two to be had tomorrow especially once the morning bite's gone with the rods on the bottom. So gonna hang this up for this evening, get round to the swing, get a spot sorted, get some bait out, got rigs and all the rigmarole to do. But this method, I'm sure I'm gonna catch one on tomorrow at the very least. So, right, let's get back round to the swim and get some rods sorted for the night. And I'm starving. <laughs> So I've dropped onto my side of the swim and I've had a little look on Google Earth and it seems that the bar that's out in front of us actually isn't really on my side of the swim. So I've started having a little bit of a lead around. Now I've found that there's so many different depths, it's ridiculous. So to the right of me, I'm probably fishing at the minute, well, leading at the minute, eight wraps, something like that and I've found it nice and clear with about seven, eight foot. But as I come to the left, I've actually found it comes up to about four and a half. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some bait out, I'm gonna put some in the deeper water, some in the slightly shallower water, and hopefully one of those depths is gonna work. But there's a lot of siltweed about, and I've found that this slightly deeper spot is a little bit clearer than what the shallower spot is. That's one thing's for sure, there's fish moving everywhere and they're coming past me, like literally at rod's length out there, just coming past, coming past. So I'm kind of hoping, get some bait out. When they have a feed, they'll just stop over it as they come over. But for Moz, he's got, he's stitching up on the left hand side, stitching me up every time this is. <laughs> so warm. Right, I'm now going to start putting a little bit of my bait out on the spot that I've found that's right in front of this huge oak tree in the distance. So if I do get fish at night, it's going to be easy to get my rods back onto. So in my mix, I've took those 22 millers and what I've done is I've broken them all up by hand. I've broke about two, two and a half kilo of boilie. And the reason I've broken them by hand and not used the chopper is because with the chopper, you get a lot more crumb and I didn't want a lot of crumb because of the amount of roach in here. I wanted to keep some big chunks of boilie, breaking them in my fingers. I'm getting probably three to four pieces out of each boilie. So they're a nice size. It also helps with keeping the fish grubbing around and there is a bit of crumb in there naturally and that will keep the roach occupied. But I want to make sure there's some bigger bits in there that the roach can't tuck. Um, can't touch so that you know there's plenty for the carp once I've broken them up I put a little bit of the switch liquid over it let that soak in so it's really soaked in there so it's going to create a nice cloud on the bottom and I'm going to spot that bad boy out a lovely bit of spotting especially in 38 degrees oh yeah I'll have to get in the lake after this I think that's right Here we go. Hopefully, my first carp of the session. Moz has been having a wander around, and I managed to get some bait out. 
and three rods on the spot. Now really, I'd have liked to have fished pop-ups. Now that could be, is that a tench? The problem is we're being given wafters and bottom bait in a lake that's got a lot of siltweed. Is you there? I'd rather have fished a pop-up over the top of it. So I've been using a couple of foam nuggets just to make sure that it comes down slow. And I think this could be a carp. It's very difficult to see in that light. I'm playing it directly into the sun. And it's absolutely killing me. I haven't got my hat on, I've just took it off. So you can see how warm I am. And that looks like it could be a carp. Come on the carp, come on the green hills. I've been getting a few liners putting that bait out so they've obviously got on it yeah it's a carp yes come on the green hills I don't have much luck when I fish with Moz normally Moz batters me it's because I'm not trying normally I thought this time I'd try <laughs> I can't be beat by the cod master again come on then beauty come on then come to Borneo oh didn't like the net and there she is, come on. <laughs> the Codlington. First one in the net. Oh, it's a nice little ghosty. Gotta be happy with that. Come on, the Codlingtons. Well, thank you very much, Charlie Padfield. And here is my first fish from Bishop's Bowl on Green Hills. So I've caught this on one of the wafters that you chose. It was on a pink wafter that I actually put onto a Klinger spinner rig. So a lot of people talk about the Turbo German, but if you just put a wafter onto a spinner rig, works just the same. With those broken boilies and switch liquid over the top. This has given me a load of confidence that hopefully I'll be able to have a few more tonight. Getting a couple of liners as we're stood here, so I'm gonna get this one back, 19 pound 10, of beautiful ghosty common. And in a minute, hopefully, Moz will actually get his rods in the water and he might catch one. Go on, baby. Uh. I'm gonna have thumbs like Bart after this trip. I'm not gonna thank Charlie for this. Five kilos of 20 millers broke, 22 millers broken up in my fingers. You're breaking them too small. Hold on, how many fish you caught? How yeah. many carp you had? It must have, been, must have been the most muggiest carp in the pond, that. And it's not even a proper carp, it's a ghosty. <laughs> the living garden ponds. <laughs> Trust you to catch a ghosty. So it's only taken you nine years, Bones, oh, to catch one of the DNA stop. cameras. <laughs> Good morning, you happy people. I have been tenched. <laughs> he has been tenched. Proper, yeah. So you've had a few tench mm. throughout that. The liners all night last oh, night, wasn't God. it? Wow. Like we've had no sleep at all because the liners have been savage. I think I might have been taken out by, I don't know whether it's a pike or a carp just swimming close this morning on the left hand rod from yeah. and ramped off. And the right hand rod ramped off as well. Still with the lead on. Definitely. Which, 
it's I mean, just probably maybe so. even a trailer, isn't it? Could well be, maybe. But yeah, we've uh, I've had a sort sort of slight change of tactics this morning. I've had a lead about out in the pond, and I found what I thought was a tiny little hole. So I thought, I don't know whether it is or not. So we actually got cheating a little bit. We were doing some morning shots with the drone, and uh, I've gone over the top of this hole and checked it, and yeah, it's tiny, absolutely tiny, and the lead lands bang in the middle of it. So, yeah, I've got that on the go at the minute, but the coots are hammering me out there at the moment, unfortunately, because it's, it's a so bit shallow. shallower where you are, isn't it, in comparison but, to me? Oh, oh, oh that is that. away though. Oh, no, 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 see, look, same thing again, close in. It's weird, isn't it? It's almost like you're getting a real savage liner, but it's, I don't know, it's weird, or it could be. A, it could be ducks. There's a lot of coots down there and there's a lot of greaves, isn't there? Yeah, well, it wouldn't be them in that fur. So I'm actually fishing 13 foot. Oh, of that's water. still in the deep water, that one. Yeah, that's on the deep one. But the carp have been showing on the shallow water out there. They've just there's been showing. There's so many carp out that left as well, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, I mean, God, how much would you like to have floaters now, Mark? Oh, yeah, I think oh. we would smack them up. We would have great for them on a third day, yeah. But we're sticking, we're sticking to the sticking 22s. Sticking to the rules. And, um, at yeah, the minute, we're doing that. Make the best of it. We've had one. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a few more I do more find today. this burns your thumbs, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's and really hot. Yeah, you yeah. It's very, liquid. very spicy. Get your own liquid. Yeah, but if I use yours, I can take mine home. <sighs> you never bring anything. <gasps> Whose kettle's that boiling? Huh? Burning your knee. Yeah, burning my knee. Right. Burning my leg. Let's have these coffees and then, um, and then, yeah, you can show people your, your wonder rigs on how to catch. I wouldn't have said they were wonder rigs. Um, how to catch garden pond fish. Or just catch I'll fish. I'll then head off to uh, go and catch a proper carp. If we were looking at numbers, we're five one. Five nil, aren't we? Five nil. You can't count tension. You can't count a garden I'm, pond fish. I'm an angler, which means I count fish. Do you? Would they, would they count in British champs? No. Oh, well, there you go then. They count to me, personally, Moz. Do they? Yes, they do. I love all fish. Do you? I'm not a, a fishist like you. <laughs> a fishist. <laughs> Make them coffees now! <laughs> <laughs> this is great, this series. I like this, because we're, we're actually using something I wouldn't normally do. Mm. I wouldn't normally ever. I've never ordered 22 mils, I don't think. And I, it's very often, very. It's not that often that I would use pure boiling. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm like with particle and stuff like that. It's, well, it's thing, good. I quite enjoy. I'm enjoying it. The really thing is, nice. it's a different cut. So like, I've half these baits. Yeah, yours are a lot more halfy. So, I've got a lot more crummy. Haven't yeah, I? Yeah, but crumb you can do that mm. with like 15 millers crumb yeah, them yeah. up like that. But at least with like a 22 mil half, that's yeah. something totally different to what everyone else would use because no right, one's yeah. going to be using 22 mil halves are yeah they? they're big chunks we've so, got some big chunks in here so it is a little bit different nice thing different. with all this silkweed about as well this will all flutter down and sit on top of the silkweed so hopefully i like it i like yeah it. we'll see how we get on i know it's going to be really hot again in the middle of the day so yeah i'm going to um i'm potentially going to reel in for a few hours and then get some bait out yeah those bites seem to come in the evening last night yeah so yeah get some bait out get it prepped get the rods prepped get some new rigs on and I think, yeah, I think it's definitely a good idea to have the rods in through the middle of the day, isn't it? Yeah, mate, yeah. Look at these temps. Even in Mike I've got it on the gun. Right, well, the old shallow spot rod has just busted off. Actually trying to download cards at the minute, which isn't ideal. So Bones was just manning the rods, whilst I was manning the computer, <laughs> multitasking. But yeah, I'm glad that this one's sort of paid off because them coots were really hammering me out there. Then the swans started, yeah. So I had a couple of spots go short. So I'm hoping that they actually were feeding off of that that was in the weed, just this side of that tiny little spot that I found. So I'd actually put, God, how many spots? Probably 10, 15 spots over this one. He's kiting back round in front of me now, which is ideal. 
Oh, there he is. How oh, common. Yes, Bones. Happy days. <laughs> yes, we got one. We got one. It's more than mine. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's a proper carp, though. <laughs> Nice. Get him out and have a little looky, looky. Eighteen two, you said. Now do. Now will do. Nice one. Cheers, my dears. All oh, right. Well, there we go. 18 pound two ounces and to be honest with you this is actually bigger than bones's one because as you'll notice mine spawned out and his wasn't so in theory this is a bigger fish <laughs> so that is an absolute wicked carp off of that new spot as well on the shallow water and uh, the old what was it switch dumbbell wafter caught this absolute beauty so i'm more than happy with that right we'll get a couple of snaps of him and send him on his way Wicked. so i've had a little wander down from where the swim is because i've got all three rods in at the minute new rigs new heli setups we'll talk about that in a little bit but i've noticed there's quite a few fish down in this bay now, I love to be floater fishing at this time of year. These fish are looking prime for it, but I've got no floaters. Thank you very much, Charlie. However, I've got wafters, and what I've done is I've used a size eight curved shank hook, and then I've got a um, wafter glued to it, and this is buoyant enough just to hold it on the top. I want to make the wafter give off a food signal. So what I'm doing is dipping the wafter in some of the liquid, so when it goes in the water, there's a proper good food signal there. So hopefully one of these fish is gonna think, oh, that's some food and it's gonna take it. So I'm gonna go down to the edge and I'm gonna flick this out and see what we can do. It's a bit of an awkward swim, but there's a lot of fish here. No. Bait sinking, Vin. Why's that started sinking? That shouldn't be sinking. Right, well, the boys have gone off to do a little bit of stalking. Bones, he's got his rods in. I'm, I've left it an hour or so with the old uh, rod out on the shallow one. I've got the other two ones in, the two deeper rods. They're just not doing anything, them two rods. And uh, I've waited in the swim for an hour, so I can go for a little bit of a stalk myself. So I'm going to get this rod in now and then head up and down the bank and see if I can find myself some fish to chuck one of these switch wafters at. And fingers crossed we can hook one. Clouding up just by these reeds here. What I might do is go and get, instead of chucking a free lined one down, I'm just gonna run back and grab this rod with a lead on it. Just drop that down in amongst them. Cause I think that'd be a better method Drop that wafter down, that just got in there, so just double check me up sharp. Oh, oh that breeze is nice. And yeah, I think this would be a better method for them ones down there. So, it's, it's creeping here. back in though. Ah, oh, Rob wasn't out there very long and it went. They come off straight away. Gutted, gutted, gutted. Damn, damn. Right, get another rod. Might put a little bit of bait down there. So I actually, earlier on, I just put a little handful of my mix, the old switch down there and that. And that's what they've been feeding on. So I'm gonna get another rod and uh, have another go. Here we go, come on. 
Oh, you're bigger than all. Oh, he's gone out. Right then, well, I'm lucky enough to have the cameraman back now because I do believe that Bones has just caught himself yet another garden centre fish. So there we go. I'm doing this very carefully because I'm stood on a little ledge in the edge and it drops off and I don't want to fall in. But there is my first fish off the surface using a wafter and no floaters. It's took me time. I managed to lose one, but I've managed to get one now, so I'm proper buzzing. That's two one to me and two ghosties, which my sis loves. <laughs> go on, the ghostie. Off you go, puppy. Loves it, doesn't he? Just can't seem to catch himself a proper one, does Bones, so it's my turn now. So now I am in the zone where Bonesy was. Them, them little spots in the edge there seem to have dried up a little bit. I think hooking that fish in the edge earlier on and losing him has told all his mates to get out of there. And they seem to have got down this end of the lake and I've got me little mugging rod. We're gonna call it mugging because that's what the match anglers do where they chuck a pellet normally in front of the fish and they snatch at it. But we've only got what our friend Charlie has chose for us. Is his name Charlie? Yeah, it's Charlie, yeah. His name is Charlie. Yeah. Still haven't forgotten your name, Charlie, even though me and Bonesy are hating on you at the minute for choosing this horrendous bait for us to catch carping at this peak time of the day where it's boiling hot. But that's what we got to catch with, that's what we got to do. So, right, let's get this fired out in, some of, in front of some of these fish that are swirling around behind me there and hopefully try and catch one on this method. Seems like my loud voice has just pushed them over that side a little bit more. If we were in that swim opposite, we'd have a better chance, but the bigger ones seem to be this side. So I'm gonna hold fire for a minute and just wait for an opportunity to drift past. Nope, we're moving. We're getting out of Bonesy's hole, or should we call it the aquatic hole? And we're gonna move around to, we call it Mozza's Den. Mozza's Mugging Den. That's what we're gonna call it. Mozza's Mugging Den. Oh my. Yes. God. Yes. <laughs> oh, he is angry. He is not happy. That is one unhappy carp. <sighs> yes, well, I knew we took one in the end and it was the perfect cast almost, that. And there was two of them going for it, so, the bigger one of the two, luckily enough, snatched at it. But he ain't happy. He ain't happy at all. Oh, oh. He ain't happy at all. And what he's done is found a weed bed around the corner here and then just ran out the back of it there. God, he's shot off up the lake, so I haven't got a clue. Because I've got this tree to the right, left of me here, I don't know where he is up the lake at the minute, but he's quite far away at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's, it's madness. I was talking on the phone to someone earlier on about this sort of method, and it was something I used to do as a child. You know, you used to see big fish swimming around, didn't you? You used to think, all oh, right, chuck, chuck something like that, and they'd never ever take it. But since like getting out with the match boys a lot more and seeing what they do, they call it mugging, where they use their poles and, uh, and they just like slap a bit of pellet in front of them and they catch them, you know, one after the other. And I've, it just amazed me that it actually works. And it's something I've just put into my fishing recently and it started working for me as well. Now this fish has gone right round this corner here and he's under these trees and everything, which isn't ideal. Oh, he's really grating against something here. This isn't, oh, this doesn't feel great. This does not feel great at all. I need him to swim back out really. 
Oh. Damn. Damn, damn. Savage. That's karma for taking a mickey out of bones, that is. That's exactly what that is. So whenever you go fishing, never take the mickey out of your mate until the fish is in the net. Damn, gutted. At least we at one doing that method, you know. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. I am, oh, I am gutted though, because it was good fish that. Yeah, at, at the two that went for it, that was definitely the bigger one of the two, but one of them things, he was angry and he went right round this corner here. Vinny went round there, could see the fish, tried to get him out of the reeds, but it's what it is. That's fishing, I guess. If you win them all, it would just be boring, apparently. Appar that's what everyone says. It would never be boring. I'd love it. <laughs> right, we go again, we go again. Well, I'm all rigged up ready to rock and roll again. A little bit gutted. I am absolutely gutted in all fairness that we lost that one, but it is what it is. You know, it's one of them things that is fishing. But the last two that I booked, I've lost, unfortunately. So I'm going to redeem myself. I'm not going to get down and think, right, what could have been. Rod's ready to rock and roll. Hopefully there's some fish left in this bay for us to catch. They're gone from up the other end. They're not there anymore. So this is going to be our last chance of the day today, at the very least. So we're all ready to rock and roll. We've got our switch waft up. Go. Come on, you girl. Don't do this to me. <laughs> what I'm talking about? It's not. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's done me, mate. He's gone. Oh, right, well, we've walked on to the very bottom end of the pond. Oh, there's a carp right below me here. Wow, that's a good one as well. Ooh. And they're clouding up like mad in front of us here. And there was a group of them that walked, that swam through here. And then there was a ghosty with them, a common and a mirror. I just put it in front of all three of them and they all went for it. It was a common that decided to snaffle it up. And uh, he ran through these pads here and gone out the other side a bit bit angry like the others. This is the only thing with this tactic is where they're so almost, you know, it's like a new thing to them. I think they're so surprised about it. They go so scatty and just run anywhere they want. Whereas normally you would come on the bottom and stuff, you know, they don't sort of act the way that they do here. They're so angry. Just get in the water with him, which would be a shame to do because it could be another opportunity here because the amount of carp that are here gonna sort of ruin me chances if I don't get this one in. Well, if I get the other side of these pads. Of course he has. Right. Oh, damn. We'll try again tomorrow, Miles. We never give up! <laughs> How many you lost now? Oh, three on the bounce, that is now. Three on the bounce. Oh. We're hooking them, not a good tactic for landing. Well, it's because they're so surprised about it. Yeah, they're literally they, like, what, 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 what? Yeah, why, why have I been hooked on this, like, something like dropping through the water? It's like hooking a fish with a pole in the margin when they're using tiny <sighs> elastic and they hook it and the thing just goes, Whoa. Yeah. They just, they're so unaware of being hooked that way. Yeah. I think I'm going to get back and get some bait out because I think that with the pressure change tonight and all that, then we could be in for some good fishing through the night.
So I'm using two different rigs. I've got a spinner rig and I've got the German rig. Both of these favour a wafter. I know everybody uses a spinner with a pop-up, but it actually works really, really well with a wafter. The hook holds I've had from the spinner rig have been pretty much perfect. Even though they were in Tench's mouths, they have worked really, really well. The bonus about using a heli setup over the lead clip setup is the fact that when that lead falls into the silkweed, the rig is a little bit higher and it can sit there just on top. And then hopefully Mr. Carp's going to come along and pick it up. Hopefully not Mr. Tench again. But there's my simple lead setup. Very easy to tie, very easy to set up. If you haven't given it a go, you should do. Right on top of it. <sighs> well, that is the last spotting for the evening until that rod busts off. Now, I'm a little bit gutted that it didn't work earlier on, and it may not have seemed like it at the time because, in all fairness, I thought I was going to get another one, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. I had another semi opportunity down in the bottom corner, there was a ghosty there. I did try for him, but in all fairness, they were feeding hard on the bottom and that sort of tactic of chucking it in front of them is not the way to catch them sort of fish. You want them cruising in front of you to catch them ones as you've probably seen throughout the day. So yeah, the evening's now uh, upon us and I'm actually only gonna fish with one rod tonight and you might be thinking, why on earth would you do that? But I'm running out of bait. I've literally got I would say four spots worth left and sticking with the 3D rolls of only using what we get given, I feel like if I get a bite on this rod, which I had the bite from earlier on, on that tiny little dinner plate that we saw out there in front of me, then at least I've got another chance on that rod. If I just chuck the other two rods out willy nilly, just doesn't feel right or feel like I'm fishing efficiently with them. So I just feel like, this is the prime rod, concentrate everything onto this rod, bait this rod, if I get a bite on it, then at least I've got a little bit of bait to put back over the top of it. So that's the plan for this evening. So let's hope we can catch a proper one, not one of them pond fish that he likes catching. Shut <laughs> yeah, up. We ain't even talking numbers, Mars. <laughs> numbers, listen to him. He thinks he's Bob Nudd. Yeah. I've had more tension if you shake a stick out. Wow. <laughs> Got another one of Mozzie's favourites. <laughs> Lovely little ghosty. <laughs> At first I thought it might have been a tench, I'd been having a few liners for about the past hour or so and uh, it's finally tanked off but it's managed to take out my middle rod which was a real pain trying to land it um, but I've managed to get it in the net and it's another little pretty ghosty. I don't know what it is with me, I've been seeing a lot of fish and there's a, quite a low percentage of them are actually ghosties and I've managed to catch three so there must be something about me that it likes but there we go, another little torpedo ghosty that's put up Managed to get me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> get us all up. Yay! What's that score? Three, three, one, two, Mate, one. You're only about <laughs> half a car. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's great though, isn't it? It's lovely. Good morning. We up here to be playing a cart. Well, we are playing a cart. There's no up here about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, quiet night for me last night. Absolutely no bleeps at all. No liners or anything. 
and uh, and yeah, right on cue, first thing this morning. Right, our rod's busted away. Just that single rod again, you know, out on that little silt spot. Still doing the do sort of thing, so it would be good to get this one in. Playing him a little bit more cautious than I normally would, of course, for obvious reasons, because I've lost the last three that I've hooked. <laughs> Here he is. Right, he's in. <laughs> nice, nice. It's a proper carp. Bones. Right, I think we'll quickly unhook him and get the rod pinged out there. Do we'll have a look see what proper carp looks like, but. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, look, proper carp. I Real. like a ghosty and I love it. In all fairness, I do like yeah. a ghosty, but I just love the fact that you've never caught proper carp in nine <laughs> years for DNA. That's what that's what's key. <laughs> yeah, when we get to go, look, we're going the summer and I'm dusting you. Oh, dear. You're not dusting me, you haven't caught a carp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, just leave him in the net. Put a, uh, just uh, put the net back together for us. Right, and you try and land the double one? Or no, I use your net. Yeah, yeah. Put a proper carp in your net. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say it'd make it free all, but it wouldn't it'd make it free one. <laughs> Half points for tench? Yeah. No, mate. Yeah, because then if No point, you get minus else. points <laughs> for tench. <laughs> so, so at the minute, you're on about minus six. Slow head bang, you know. Yeah, that's slow head bang. You can see it like that, can't you? That mm. is <laughs> this is not hard. He's angry. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. I haven't had any on camera, Vinny. <laughs> not Vinny's fault. You didn't get us out of the amount of tension you've been hauling. We're tired of filming tench. And even the one you caught was smaller than the tench that you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hinchy flops. Yes. Oh, he's a lovely one. Not big though, Mars. No, I, I definitely. Know. I thought he was a better way. The way like he went, one. he went wow. Well. Yeah, proper powerful. Nice. I'll hold one for you if you like. Yeah, you ma'am. Sweet. At least you get older, proper car. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I know you're going to say when we're sat there. <sighs> Here we go then. A couple of doubles. I give them just about doubles. I think. Possibly nine, ten pound, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So I thought I'd let Bones at least hold one <laughs> card I this knew trip. It was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. So uh, yeah, <laughs> these are the two that that I had one after the other, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you'd all agree, absolutely beautiful ones, all the same. Bishop's bolt has been kind. It to has, us. especially with the temperatures we had the last couple of yeah, days mate. to catch fish off the deck. Yeah. Using the bait we've had, I think we've done really well. Yeah, definitely. Really pleased. Pleased. Right, really let's get these back. I've run out of bait, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. I've, I've got about a handful that I'm oh, going to try that, I've saved some up baits. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a few baits to put back around that rod in the hope that it might go one more time. Right, let's send them on their way. <laughs> I don't want to come out. Wow. He stuck his nose in the bottom. Wow. <laughs> I can't even get you to release them properly, though. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, it's all right. Should have been it. Oh, there she is. Come on. Right. <laughs> it likes me, Mars. It likes me. It doesn't want to leave, look. It wants a bit more time on the camera. You know, it's like in poker when people take ages to make their decisions is to get a little bit of camera time. Come on, get out. <laughs> come on, come on. This is the longest <laughs> of the car, <laughs> He just don't want to leave, look. Get out. I don't want to go. Wow, well, we could just leave it here and play some of that hold music like you're getting a lift. Then <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get cramped going. He's going, yay! He still doesn't want to go, look. There we go. How do you think you've done them bones on your first 3D series? I know I've won. How? Because my three fish were bigger than yours. No. My no. first fish was bigger. My second fish was bigger, no. and my third fish was about the same size. You had two very small da, fish da, in the end one, and I had five tench. No, you if can't we'd put count them in keep nets, If we'd put them in keep nets, 
then yeah, in a match. We're not in a match. Be... For starters, we're not in a match. I'm just asking would, you how well, well, well you think you've far. done. You seem to think that this has turned into a match. It's always All a match, of a Mark. sudden. It's always a match. So, the free fish that you've caught, I yeah. noticed you called them fish. They're not carp, <laughs> they're goldfish. They, they are carp, but they no. are a sippiness. You cannot <laughs> deny that they're a sippiness. I'm sure most people will comment on this and say, they don't count. They're, they're, Ghost they're, carp don't they're count. They're extra special because they're harder to catch because there's harder fewer of them. Harder to catch, wow. <laughs> there's fewer of them. No, There's mate. less ghosts than there is normal fish. So I've done better there's in that not, way. Uh, unbelievable. I've caught, in total weight, I've caught no, more. No. You haven't caught a carp this This trip. is the reason you Bart haven't caught, caught me in. You? Because you've dusted him on every other three bits. <laughs> <laughs> he needed someone to come in to dust you. Yeah, but you haven't. Oh, no, you've I not even caught it. a carp this no, trip. No, don't believe All I've caught is proper carp. A common, a mirror carp. If you'd have caught landed some of the ones you'd lost, it'd be a different story. Wow, that was a bit harsh. Well, I just need to tell you the truth. <laughs> I need to bring some home truth into it. <laughs> You've had it so easy fishing against Bart that he had to call me in. Well, yeah, I, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But you, know? you, still, you still haven't caught a carp yet. This is the point. In nine years of fishing for DNA, <laughs> we're out with the cameras, you are yet to catch and a carp. The lies. fact you've caught I've three caught ghosties them. is hilarious. I've caught them, which is always go fishing <laughs> in the freezing cold, and then you stitch me up. How? You stitch me up with the boat out. It's lovely, it's lovely. Uh, no, <laughs> you, you got first you, choice. You, you told me you need to go left. No, I didn't. Just so that you'd go right. No, that's not true. Right. That's I was taking true. your knowledge on No, it, no, no. I said, you can she have is. first pick, baby. It's she all yours. Is. You went, oh, we're fizzing on the left. She Blanked. Didn't blank here, did you? <laughs> Listen to him. Well, you can all put in the comments below who won. Yeah, that, who, I who think that's a, a good plan. Yeah. So let, we'll, we could set, go on we'll let the people decide. Would. Definitely Pardon? win on the biggest fish. No, mate. It was nineteen ten. It, it was eighteen. That, look, in, if that was a British record, they wouldn't <laughs> count it because it's it spawn match, bound. It doesn't because matter. Because it's spawn bound. The mine was, don't mine lie. wasn't spawn bound. <laughs> it was spawned out. That would have counted. Scales don't lie, Moz. So not only have you caught one that doesn't Scales count, the spawn-bound one. Scales don't lie. You have caught two more that didn't count either. Scales and don't now lie. you're trying to bring tension to this situation. <laughs> I had a good of about five and a half pounds. Yeah, well, none of us saw it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been really good. I've really yeah, enjoyed it's been it. Mega, it's been mega. Right, let's get these rods in. Yep. Well done, Charlie. Your bait will be sent out that you've chosen. I bet he's gutted now. I bet he's like, oh. Damn. I wanted to stitch him up. Oh, yeah, I wish I wish I chose 10 kilos of more of these <laughs> this time. So your bait's gonna be sent out to you as soon as this video goes out. If you guys want to comment below, let us know what we're gonna use bait-wise for the next trip. The link for the website is in the description. Pick free baits and then one of the people in the office will decide what baits we're gonna use on the next 3D series and that will be sent out to your house too. Someone needs to put Paste and spod mix. Shush you, you're not part of this series anymore. <laughs> hey, do you know what, Moz? What? This is the first time you've been in the lead of this whole session. <laughs> Bones, you haven't even caught a carp yet. <laughs> you keep using that one. You, well, Makes you no difference. You first haven't caught fish. a carp yet for DNA. <laughs> You're getting sacked. I've up. caught, I tell you what, on a species race, definitely winning. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we don't sell match kit. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to start selling it. Yeah, well, Definitely. for your benefit only. Yeah, I could use it in my matches, win everything like I've just won this one. You haven't won that one. <laughs> <laughs>